Liu Zhong, chairman of Dalian Shipbuilding Industry in Liaoning Province, said his company and its parent, China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, the world's largest shipbuilder, have acquired the ability to design and build aircraft carriers the most technologically sophisticated of all surface vessels. Their capabilities have been gained through construction of the CNS Liaoning, China's first carrier, which was built based on a half-finished, imported Soviet-era vessel, and the nation's first domestically designed carrier, which is in the final outfitting stage before starting sea trials. We have complete ownership of the expertise, in terms of design, technology, technique, manufacturing and project management, that is needed to make an advanced carrier, he said. We are ready to build larger ones. Liu spoke to China Daily on Wednesday as he arrived in Beijing to take part in the coming first session of the 13th National People's Congress as a deputy from Liaoning Province. The People's Liberation Army Navy operates the Liaoning, the sole aircraft carrier, which received an extensive refit at the Dalian shipyard before going into service in September 2012. The Liaoning Carrier Battle Group has completed several long-distance training operations and cross-sea, live-fire exercises. Dozens of pilots and landing signal officers have become qualified to operate the J-15 carrier-borne fighter jet aboard the carrier, according to the Navy. Construction of the nation's second and first indigenously designed carrier began in November 2013. It was launched in April and will start sea trials soon. Once completed, the gigantic ship will have a displacement of at least 50,000 metric tons and a conventional propulsion system, and will carry J-15 fighter jets and other carrier-borne aircraft. Like the Liaoning, the ship will use a raised, ski-jump deck for launching fixed-wing aircraft. The new carrier's name and hull code remain unknown. The Navy usually makes public such information when a ship is commissioned.